वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टूडे लेक्चर इज फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ द टेंथ क्लास टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल अबाउट द क्वेश्चन पेपर पैटर्न ऑफ द मैथमेटिक्स फॉर द स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ सो स्टूडेंट्स फॉर द स्टेट बोर्ड स्टूडेंट्स देर आर टू पेपर रिटर्न पेपर ऑफ द मैथमेटिक्स मैथ फर्स्ट एंड मैथ सेकंड फोर्टी मार्क फॉर इच दैट इज द टोटल रिटर्न एग्जाम ऑफ द मैथमेटिक्स फर्स्ट एंड मैथमेटिक्स सेकंड टोटल इज ऑफ एटी मार्क्स देन ट्वेंटी मार्क्स इज फॉर द इंटरनल इवेल्युएशन आउट ऑफ विच टेन मार्क्स इज फॉर द होम असाइनमेंट्स एंड टेन मार्क्स फॉर द प्रैक्टिकल्स और एम सी क्यू दैट इज द टोटल एग्जाम ऑफ द मैथमेटिक्स फर्स्ट एंड मैथमेटिक्स सेकंड इज ऑफ द हंड्रेड मार्क्स देन स्टूडेंट्स इंटरनल इवेल्युएशन ऑफ द ट्वेंटी मार्क्स out of which 10 marks is for the home assignment and 10 marks for the practical or mcq in part first one assignment is given for the five marks in and part second one assignment is given five marks that is the total home assignment is of the 10 marks then math practical one practical for math first and one practical for part second or math second one practical for 10 marks each that is the practical of part first is 10 marks practical of part second is of 10 marks that is total practical we have to take on as of 20 marks and which is converted into 10 marks that is the total inward evaluation of the uh, mathematics is for 10 marks for assi home assignment and 10 marks for the math practical students then we take the question paper pattern in math first and math second there are five questions are given in question number 1a we have to given mcqs and we have to solve the four mcqs out of the four mcqs that is you have to given four mcqs and you have to solve all the four mcqs choose the correct alternative one mark for each then question number 1b solve the following sub questions you have to given four questions and you have to solve all the four sub questions one mark for each that is total question number 1 is of the 8 marks question number 2b again two parts a and b in a parts complete the activity you have to give one three activities and you have to solve any two out of these three one uh, two marks for each then question number 2b solve the following sub questions you have to give one four sub questions and we have to solve out of five sub questions you have to solve only four two marks for each that is question number 2b is of eight marks and total question number 2 is of 4 plus 8 that is 12 marks then question number 3a again there are two sub questions a and b in a you have to give one complete the activity you have to give one two activities and completed one activity three mark for each then question number 3b solve the following sub questions any two out of the four theme three mark each that is you have to give on four sub questions and you have to solve only two that is it is of the six marks that is question number 3 total is of the 3 plus 6 that is nine marks then question number 4 solve the following sub questions any two out of three you have to give on three sub questions and you have to solve any two four mark for each that is total marks for question number 4 is 8 then question number 5 solve the following sub questions you have to give one two sub questions and you have to solve only one three mark for each that is total mark for question number 5 is 3 that is you have to written you have to write the question paper of the 40 marks and paper is given with option is of 60 marks then we see the unit wise weightage of the math first and math second now there are six chapters in the math first first is of the equation in two variables it is of the 12 marks with option chapter number 2 is given quadratic equation it is of also 12 marks with option third chapter is arithmetic progression of for the 8 marks chapter number 4 financial planning it is also for the 8 marks chapter number 
probability it is also for the 8 marks and chapter number 6 it is of 12 marks that is in math first you have to give one 6 chapters and it is of 60 marks and in the above weightage maximum 2 marks changes is permissible then we see the math paper second that is geometry in geometry there are 7 chapters are given first chapter is of similarity which is for the 10 marks with option second chapter is for is of pythagoras theorem which is for the 7 mark third chapter is circle which is for the 12 marks chapter number 4 geometric construction which is for the 7 marks coordinate geometry chapter number 5 which is for 7 marks chapter number 6 uh, trigonometry which is for the 7 marks then last chapter 7th chapter is given mensuration which is for the 10 marks and total 7 chapters are for the 60 marks so students today i take the question paper pattern of the class 10 i hope we enjoy this and like this my lecture so if you like this then subscribe my channel like and share it